Hello sports lovers, heavyweight boxing is all about knockout and Anthony AJ Joshua has delivered a brutal knockout to Robert Hellenius in the seventh round and this has boosted Anthony AJ Joshua's confidence ahead of the Deontay Wilder fight. Before I get into this particular fight, please remember to smash the subscribe button, press the like button, press express your views in the comment section and share so others can enjoy this was a very good fight for anthony aj joshua no matter how you look at it this is the kind of competitive fight anthony aj joshua needed though anthony joshua did not have enough days to adjust to robert helenius robert helenius has extra three rounds in his leg ahead of this fight so i think anthony aj joshua was going into this particular fight with a nose advantage and that was very good but robert helenius did not feel intimidated by the matchroom staff he came into the fight wanting to win hence the performance in the first two rounds causing anthony aj joshua lots of problem and anthony aj joshua was eating the jabs from robert helenius and that is not good for anthony joshua to be eating jabs from a fighter like robert helenius if you don't work on that and learn how to take away the jab from an opponent, Anthony A.J. Joshua would be in devastating trouble against Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. Now, you could see that Anthony Joshua's eyes got swollen within the first two rounds and Anthony Joshua looked a little bit pressed or confused about the performance of Robert Helenius, but he took his time. He did not panic. He tried getting in. It was very difficult for Anthony Joshua to really close the distance on Robert Helenius. I think that, or, or I was thinking, Anthony A.J. Joshua, after three rounds, would have closed the distance on Robert Helenius, but it did not manifest to be so. Even in the fourth round, we could see that Robert Helenius was having loads of success. Hence, the bloody nose from both men at the end of the fourth round. Anthony A.J. Joshua was bleeding from the nose and Robert Helenius was also bleeding from the nose. But what impressed me that after the sixth round in which Robert Helenius had loads of success throwing combination punches and Anthony Joshua looked a little bit in trouble, he gathered momentum, went to his corner, listened to the specific instruction. That was the most important thing for me in this particular fight, building the chemistry between boxer and coach. Like I said in my, in my preview, the, now when Joshua sat in his corner, Derek told him that, listen, jab him to the body and land the right hand. Anthony A.J. Joshua goes into the ring, does exactly that, and gets successful. Do you know what that tells you? It makes Anthony A.J. Joshua trust the, the judgment of Derrick James. So next time, when they are in the ring together, and Derrick James asks him to carry out some instruction, Anthony A.J. Joshua would be willing to go through the fire in order to carry out that instruction because he knows that if he's able to carry out that instruction, he would be victorious at the end of the day. So this fight has been perfect for Anthony A.J. Joshua. He has won. He has faced challenges. He has overcome it. He has used the opportunity to build a good chemistry with his trainer. I think this is a very big win for Anthony A.J. Joshua. This is a very big win for Anthony A.J. Joshua. But the problem is if I said I described Robert Helenius as the poor man's Deontay Wilder. Yes, he has a better footwork than Deontay with the bronze mobile Wilder. But if Robert Helenius jabs, which are, are powerful but are not so devastating like that of Deontay Wilder, are able to cause you problems, then Anthony A.J. Joshua must be truly careful when he steps into the ring with Deontay the Bronze Bamba Wada. If he doesn't want to be too careful, then what he must do henceforth is to learn to take away the jab from an opponent, just like Terence Crawford did. Terence Crawford took Errol Spence's jab away and Errol Spence had no tool left in his toolbox. And that is the only thing Deontay the bronze bomber Wilder sets up the right hand with the jab 
And if you are able to take the jab away, making Deontay the bronze member Wilder miss the jab, he won't be able to land the right hand. Yes, go watch all Deontay the bronze member Wilder fight. It's a one-two most often. It's a one-two to close a distance on you. He blinds you with the jab and lands the, the devastating right hand. Apart from the Hellenius fight in which he, he landed a short left hook that knocked Hellenius out. And imagine... If that could knock Helenius out, imagine the right hand. But I think the seven rounds is good for Anthony A.J. Joshua. He has won over Deontay the Bronze Bomba Wilder since the uh, last fight after Corona against Tyson Fury. Deontay the Bronze Bomba Wilder has been in the ring for just less than three minutes. And this is an advantage over Deontay the Bronze Bomba Wilder. So, if it remains like this, I am very confident that Anthony A.J. Joshua can win the fight against Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. That is not my final prediction, though, because I'll be doing film study ahead of the Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder fight, which Eddie Hen has confirmed that Prince Khalid is in town to finalize the deal for January. So, that is it for this particular episode. Congratulations to Anthony A.J. Joshua. And I'm very happy he was able to secure the knockout. A brutal one to boost his confidence, to boost his chemistry with his coach, and to make him prepared for next fight. We want to see the best Anthony Joshua face the best Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. I could wish, I am wishing that Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder also gets a fight maybe by October. Then we see them face each other somewhere in January. Thank you for watching. Stay positive. If you have not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. Press the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts about this particular fight and share with friends and family. Thank you.